Hello, welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com and another Python tutorial. Today we're going to talk about uh, manually controlling the operator precedence. Manually controlling how Python runs equations. All right. In the previous tutorial we talked about um, the operator precedence where we said like exponent has the highest precedence over um, other operators like multiplication, true division, module, and floor division and addition and subtraction. Well, I'm going to show you how to uh, manually control that. So everything you learned in the previous tutorial, you can throw out the window for now. Um, it's important to remember that stuff for when you're coding because if you're setting up an equation and you want to run a certain way, um, you're going to either have to set up your equation with the operator presence, the default presence in um, in mind or you can use parentheses to control it. Python will always run the parentheses in an equation before it defaults to its own operator precedence. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to open up my Python interpreter here and let's do an equation. Let's do um, 2 to the exponent or power of 2 plus 2. Now this is going to run this part first here and then it's going to run the second part because exponents ran before addition so we hit return we get six all right well I was kinda of hoping to get eight because that's what I was thinking when I set up my program so if we set it up like this and then to the exponent of two you know this might be oh I'll get four first and then I'll get the power of four there um, which wouldn't be 8, but we still get 6. So let's go ahead and do this. 2 plus 2, put it in parentheses, then exponent or power of 2. Now we're going to get 2 plus 2 equals 4, and the exponent of that is 16. Hit return, we get 16. Um, I might have said 8 earlier, or maybe I thought that in my head, but it's 16. Um, Anyway, the parentheses overwrite or tell Python, throw your, throw your default version of how you evaluate equations out the window because this is how we want to run it. And this is how we want to run our program. So let's take another look. Um, let's say if we got 3 times 8 divided by 2. Uh, I want to put parentheses around the 8 and the 2. All right. Um, so we talked about when they're on the same level, like multiplication, uh, true division, module, and floor division, they're all on the same level. So in that case, the equation would run left to right. Um, so let's look at it that way. I should have done it this way first, divided by 2. So this equation is going to run left to right. So let's go ahead and run it. And we get 12. So we did 3 times 8, and then we divided, by the, divided that by 2. So, But in our case, we want to divide first and then multiply. So we would do 3 times parentheses 8 divided by 2. Another parentheses, hit return, and we still get 12. Um, that was not what I was hoping for, but the way that worked out was <laughs> 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. In this case, 3 times 8 is uh, 34 divided by 2 is 12. Or no, 24, I'm sorry, not 34, 24. It's been early, so I haven't finished my cup of coffee. So 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. So this equation kind of goes out the window. So let's take a look at another one. Let's do um, 6 times parentheses 7 divided by 4 parentheses. All right, so let's take a look at this. It's going to run the division first and then multiply by 6. Hit so return, we get 10.5. So what actually happened there? Let's do 7 divided by 4 
equals 1.75 and then we times 1.75 by 6 and we get 10.5 so that's how the equation ran it 7 divided by 4 first because we had parentheses and then um, 6 times 1.75 the value of this equation so parentheses gives us a lot better control um, I use parentheses a lot when I'm programming because I really don't like how um, Python's going to say how it's going to run out my equation. Uh, in my head, I don't think like a normal person sometimes. So when I'm programming, I'm like, oh, this is how I want the equation to work. And sometimes I don't think about how Python's operator is going to work. So when I want to test my program, I'm like, how the heck did that number come out? Then I use parentheses because when I'm looking at an equation, this is like how I expect it to run. Like, uh, for example, let's do, um, I want to do 6 plus 5, all right, and then minus 3 plus 4 times, oops, times 10, all right. In my mind, I'm going to think 6 plus 5 is going to run first. And then I'm going to minus that by 3, and then add a 4, and then times that total by 10. Well, that's all I think. All right. So let's get our answer, 48. Now, when I write the equation out, I'm like, I always think left to right for some reason. So I want to do 6 plus 5, parentheses, uh, yeah. No, I want to put the minus 3, since they're all, all on the same level, plus 4. Then I want to times it by 10. Now, I put all these in here like this because these are all on the same level. So it's going to run the way I expect it to, left to right. But once you add the multiplication in there, it's going to run that 10 times 4 first and then run the equation. I don't want that to happen because in my mind, this is how I think it works. All right. So when you're programming, the way you're thinking is probably the best way to go because that's how you're going to understand your program a little bit better. Um, I'm not saying always do this, but that's how I think and that's how I get my programs to run properly most of the time. So if you return, I get 120. That was the answer I was looking for. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. We're here to help you guys out. Um, we'll see you in the next tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe.